Hello, I'm Jonathan Oxhorn and I'm offering an elective course in Spring 2012 called Sustainable Architecture, the Science and Politics of Green Building. In this course, which counts as a technology elective for BARC students, but is open to all students in the university, we look at sustainability from both a scientific standpoint and from a political economic one as well, based on the categories embedded in the LEED rating system, site, water, energy, materials, and Indoor Environmental Quality, or IEQ. Are politics and sustainability really intertwined? Well, consider just a couple of puzzles. The U.S. supported and signed the 1987 Montreal Protocol, an international treaty designed to reduce substances that deplete the ozone layer, in spite of early opposition by aerosol and halocarbon producing industry groups such as DuPont. Such groups, not surprisingly, questioned the scientific underpinnings of ozone layer research. Yet both Ronald Reagan and Margaret Thatcher ultimately signed the protocol in 1987. On the other hand, the strong scientific consensus on human involvement in global warming is well known. Even so, no such international political consensus was reached at Copenhagen in 2009, and no substantial progress is in sight. And I don't think, from my perspective, that I want America uh, to be engaged in spending that much money on still a scientific theory that has not been proven, and from my perspective, is more and more being put into question. Have politicians really become more irrational in the 25 years since the Montreal Treaty was signed? Or have the cold economic calculations that inform political decisions in powerful countries like the U.S. simply led to different outcomes in these two cases? But the circle that's in the middle of the whole thing has the United States and China. And these two powers, very wary of each other, each is desperate not to have a deal here that will give strategic and economic advantage to the other. Right. That's what this is really about. To take a broad look at the science and politics of sustainability, I've invited numerous guests to participate in the course and talk about their particular areas of expertise. Professor Juan Arroyo, a Cornell graduate now teaching at Ithaca College, will talk about political theory. Then we'll have a series of classes in which invited experts will discuss issues related to the five lead greed building categories. Matt Kozlowski from Cornell's Environmental Services Group in Facilities Engineering, Frank Carlio, the Commissioning Manager for O'Brien and Gare, and Forsyth from Cornell's Department of City and Regional Planning, Marguerite Wells, owner of a local nursery not far from Cornell which specializes in growing plants for green roofs, including the vegetated roof of Milstein Hall here on campus, will talk about plants for living roofs. Keith Porter, former director of the New York State Water Resources Institute at Cornell and an adjunct professor of law, Brian Rahm, a postdoctoral associate in Cornell's Department of Earth and Atmospheric Sciences, Ed Gottlieb will take us all on a tour of the Ithaca Area Wastewater Treatment Plant. Barb Ekstrom will visit from the Tompkins County Recycling and Solid Waste Agency. Shorna Allred from Cornell's Department of Natural Resources will talk about forest management. David Wolf from Cornell's Department of Horticulture will discuss impacts of climate change. Randy Lacey, Cornell University engineer, will talk about energy modeling, lead requirements, and ASHRAE standards. And finally, Joseph LaQuatra from Design and Environmental Analysis will talk about indoor air quality. Of course, I'll also be giving lectures in the course, going over the specific requirements for LEED certification in all five categories mentioned earlier, site, water, energy, materials, and IEQ. I'm looking for students who are interested not just in the science of sustainability, but also in the political and economic forces that actually shape and define green buildings. If that's you, consider enrolling in this course for spring 2012. Spaces are limited, and while the course has been given a green light for another year or two, I won't be teaching it forever. So act now.